Hello and welcome back to my channel, Nichols Network. I understand this channel is usually known for its podcasts, but today I want to do a tech review for you and show you the Apple iPad 10th generation with Typecase keyboard case accessory. So, first off, I want to review the experience of using the iPad and the keyboard. Not the iPad itself, per se. I feel like a lot of people understand the screen and the battery life. If you're watching this video, you've probably done some research. And I don't want to give you information that you probably don't need. And there's already tons of videos out there discussing the battery life with battery tests and screen durability tests. So I want to particularly show you what matters. So with the type case, you will see there will be a logo right here. Type case. And when you open it, there will be a keyboard, right? And there will be a slot for you to slide your iPad in. And I'll show you how it fits. It fits very easily. What you will want to do is take your iPad 10th generation, which I want to show off just how beautiful of an iPad this is. Just look at this beautiful deep blue that Apple made for this iPad. This is just a beautiful blue. When I was shopping for this, they had an option for this blue, a yellow, a pink, and a space gray, and I was like, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful blue. I don't know if it's gonna show off just how beautiful it is like on the camera. So I'll try different angles, but this is an absolutely beautiful blue. Now, the first step is fitting it in the center by taking the bottom, you see this, like the camera edge, line that up with the corner of the keyboard case, and then you should hear a snap like that, and then a second snap on the other side. And as you can see, now it'll fit. Now I'm gonna turn the lights off so that there's no glare. Now as you can see, it looks more like a laptop now, and when you press your home button, or your power button, because there is no home button on these devices, you will see the iPad, right? You can also turn on your keyboard and there will be options for different colors. Now I use this blue, but you can also dim it. You can also have no light at all. You can also change the colors. Uh, there's this deep red, there's this green. You can also do this collage where you just go with all the colors, but I prefer my deep blue here. Now you can press the home button, or not the home button, but the button in the top left, which will power on the device. Press the button in the top left again, and you can enter your password. Now, as you can see, this will turn on your device. Now. I know there's a bit of glare because there's just not great lighting, but you can use your hands to swipe. It's still quite comfortable. But you can also turn it. You can turn it in laptop mode or you can have it kind of at an angle. You know, if you wanna kinda do stuff, you can turn it completely around. So if you wanna show someone what's on your screen, you can completely turn it. You can also put it in tablet mode, like if you don't want to use the keyboard, you can turn off the keyboard and, and then fold it down so that now it's in just tablet mode and you can just use it as a regular iPad. See? Then, if you want it as a laptop, you obviously can change it back. Turning the iPad again, and you will bring out the keyboard again. And there you go, see, now you have the tablet again, or iPad again, so turn the keyboard back on, and it will work like a regular laptop, for example. For example, I will say, like, you can't use the trackpad to launch an app or anything, unfortunately, but let's say you wanna watch a YouTube video. Let's scroll through the homepage. Let's try this one here. Former President Trump is telling his supporters he is not going to be nice. Just that a news video now, press space. Called, uh, for unity. And see, you can pause the video. You can resume it. Uh, just a week ago at the... See? Now, if you want to go back to the home button, press that top left button again. 
and it can work as, a, as an escape if you have multiple app tabs open. There you go. See, and then you can go back into the app if you want. But it hasn't always been that way. New parties oh, let me pause this. So if we go into video, and see now I am perfectly centered now in the frame. And it, it'll follow me, see? I move to the right, but I'm still centered. If I move to the left a little, I'm still centered. Like, it'll still keep you perfectly centered, which is perfect for Zoom calls and other occasions in which that may be necessary. You can also use this, obviously, to type. Let's go to Safari. Now, if we go to Safari, I gotta write something that'll work with one hand. Let's write... Fun. See? It's already bringing up suggestions. You... C V B N hit enter and it'll just bring up some stuff that's fun. See, so this is perfect for if you want an iPad but you want to turn your iPad into a laptop and you don't want to buy Apple's magic keyboard because to be honest their magic keyboard is way too expensive. And the keyboard works for everything you could think of, writing notes looking up a YouTube video, anything, exploring any website. Literally, you can use this for anything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want more tech videos in the future. Leave a comment on your thoughts. I do plan to review more products in the future. And if you like music, you can subscribe for music podcasts as I do music podcasts and I just got notifications. Oh, it will power on a little bit. Obviously notification just popped up, but yes, I hope you guys enjoyed.